this video, I'll definitively show I'm a top martial artist and that martial arts and all the spiritual principles, all the principles that truly make people human end with me. First of all, it's a simple matter of math, and I could pretty much end it after this point. How can anyone justify having their children after all the cultures that exist, okay, had representatives here who truly represented their culture, and they helped screen me out, and I wasn't able to impregnate a woman and have her have a son, and for me to raise that son, for me to have a child myself and to raise it. Why do they deserve to have children and the most righteous man doesn't for doing the right thing in 2019 in a country that's supposed to be free with representatives from cultures all over the world? Okay, it's simple math. It is wrong for the bad person and the people who are less than righteous to have children when the righteous one is screened out saying, stand with me on top of that. And, and going on and on about how they're doing eugenics on them. They're, they're scientific racists. They're doing this to make the most repugnant, greedy, filthy bloodlines on the planet seem superior, and no one cares. And they've submitted themselves to the reproductive cultures of this criminal governing class. Cultivation and culture are connected. Simple math. The one righteous man can have a child, you know, can't raise a child, can't pregnant a woman to raise a child. No one else should have a child. No one stood with them. But they helped screen them out. And they helped with the PR lift and making their culture seem good. So even if they're seeming to do the right thing, they're also guilty. They're making those cultures that produce people who don't stand with them every single time seem decent. There's no way around that. It is Ill, it is an ill-gotten gain for the children just to live. Point number one. Point number two, okay, is the falcon and the leopard strike. The point, the point of sparring, the point of life, the point of being spiritual. Spiritus means spiritual sense, spirit sense and breathing sense. It means breathing as well. Kalunga, ka meaning spirit, the great bringer of order. Chi One's personal destiny means energy, and so on and so forth. The great chi is where the spirit of God, and it's the source of the spirit of God, where it is detected by the human energy, the human sense. So it is what you sense of God. It is the spirit of God that you sense, right? You don't truly sense God, so to speak. You sense the spirit of God, and the core is communicating to you that way, you know? Kind of like if I was to speak to someone blind, they would start to sense me, but they don't truly sense me as much as they could if they weren't blind, you know, for example. All right, so now that we kind of uh, covered this kind of basic thing, what, what, what do these ideas mean? Okay, the generational spear. For generations, people would hunt and they would spear. You see the, the Ebos on the boat standing like horse, you know, left foot forward or whatever. They're spearing, they're spear fishing, spear it, spar it. Spirit, okay? The focused moral intensity. The thinking man, right? I, just, I, I illustrated a certain repetition as a thinking man and a certain ability to continue to clash with the enemy, right? It was time to emerge. They're like, if man doesn't emerge in this time, he's going to be unnatural. He's going to subject himself to a, a, a society of chips in the brain, a cyborg sort of society. If he doesn't emerge, his children, his fellow man will be subjected to this. The hero will emerge. Urgency. Your gene C. Your gene Ka. Your gene Ki or Chi. Urgency. Ki to them is the earth deity. Okay. It is a rape cult deity as applied by them. It's the earth deity. That's all it is, right? The energy of the earth. To this guy, it is the chi is the energy of the martial art Ibo who seeks to connect to God. And chiuku, the, the chi of the hawk, the hawk direction, qua, hawk, the H is the fence, you know, the, the letters backwards, okay, is flying high by the sun. The sun is a symbol of Ra, the core of righteousness, love, and truth, okay? It's very simple. So it's, you know, kind of Kung Fu, Tai Chi, and all this stuff. This is, they're talking about the earth energy. They've taken a kind of Western perspective on it, okay, uh, in terms of the, where the West has defined it, okay, regardless of where it started, probably started in Babylon or somewhere, wherever it started, uh, you know, Mesopotamia, Key, you know, Sumer, and so on and so forth, okay. 
All right, so number three. We know this guy has the highest cause, and it's painfully obvious. Therefore, we expect the righteous to take his side. If you're seeing this martial art challenge on the internet, you're like, hey, either the righteous are going to take his side, if there's any, you know, excuse me, there's no one else righteous but me, okay? If there's righteous people, they're going to take his side. They're going to say, this guy has the highest cause, I'm going to take his side. So already, he's illustrated certain skills, and they're likely to take his side, okay? This has a certain effect on the other guys watching. Their, 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 their cause is some fucking namby-pamby Hollywood bitch shit or some, some local fucking martial arts studio kind of, you know, Pee Wee Herman fucking bitch shit, Mickey Mouse bitch shit, right? It, it's not going to, you know, their, their spirit is a spirit of conformity and kind of feel-good cartoon, uh, 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 you know, fellowship with the uh, yuppies, you know. So number four, the surgical strike, the surge I call, right? Why is he surgical? because it's focused moral intensity. Yeah, obviously they're fuming me right now and they're drugging me and so on and so forth, right? So right now I have a headache right here, you know. Uh, anyway, five, focus to the point. Now listen very carefully. This one is very obvious when you put it this way. Look at an actual picture of a leopard, study it. Think about how it moves. Think about how it projects its energy, its spirit goes and it shoots out, okay? So Bruce Lee compared to me is like a bobcat compared to a leopard. Is a bobcat going, going to stop the leopard from springing out and grabbing it by the neck and killing it? Neither could this guy stop me from finding my way to his neck and stabbing him. Okay? I'd get very mad. Grr. He's like, ah, you know, bah, 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 pow! And I'd, do, I'd finish him in. I mean, I'd do him in. Obviously, it's a reduced state. That caused me a headache and so on and so forth. Okay? He's not as intense and as morally upright as I am. Okay? He's a Hollywood actor. His cause is to make Jeet Kune Do look good, not to restore the divine order. It's a big difference. And of course, somebody into martial arts who's done even basic research should quickly connect it to Egypt. They should see the Narmer palette. They should see the Rosetta. Rosette, right, is a leopard pattern, Rosetta stone. They should see the Narmer palette, and they should see the leopard print on the female. They should see the curling leopard tails. They should have heard of the leopard societies. This isn't a completely obscured idea. There's a long history in Rio and Angola and Biafra and the Zulu, the Zulu, uh, Shaka Zulu, right? The BBC series, okay? Before that, it was, he's, he's the great leopard, the great Segeti, the great elephant, okay? You know, he says, strategy, you know, the leopard hunt, strategy, speed, and physical contact, right? Strategy, speed, what is the strategy? What, what animal are we facing? Okay, so that, that, that's the kind of animal you are. That's how you move, it's kind of like you're in nature, right? A, a boar comes at you, right? Jump to the side, you spear, boom! You stick it, okay? That's the animal I'm facing. Okay, so I, I'm facing this guy, he's like, he's kind of dodging around a little bit. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm better, I'm quicker on my feet. I'm quicker on my feet, I'm more agile, I'm faster than he is, I have reach. He kind of comes in, I can, I can step back or I can, I can focus and find an angle. Focus and find an angle. Focus and find an angle in, okay? Obviously, I'm a reduced form, but this is kind of the general idea. And of course, those in my videos, some videos, I'd, stand, I'd sit like this, right? And I'd do things like this. And obviously, back then, when I actually had my true form, you could tell by my gestures, okay, that I was focused, I could get to the point, and I could dodge and block effectively. It was easy to see how I am with my body structure, my, my gestures. So for the umpteenth time, I'm going to put pictures of me for this playlist, okay, that has to do with the core points. But perhaps the biggest core point of all in terms of the, the wise man's perception of truth, you know, in terms of obvious, the wise man is going to concede this point right away, is righteousness must have a source and a core. He who is trying to find his way to the source using martial arts is superior to the scientist, the businessman, the sage, everyone else. He's using martial arts to actually get into nature and find his way to the core and to achieve it, achieve contact, light contact, light contact sparring, to make contact with it, okay? He's superior to these other men. This is a superior path. This is the true meaning of life. Everyone else is dead compared to him. He's going the way, the truth, and the life. He's going for righteousness and uh, uh, love, true love, 
He was only, th these type of people are the only ones have love. And only when they teach other people do they find love. Only when they're in the same room as them and they're conveying the spirit do they find the spirit. And even then they can't replace him because it's a matter of morals and principle and truth and what is fair, the Pharaoh, what is fair and right, not to cheat him out of his rightful place. Okay, so it's the core of righteousness, what has been called the marshalling source of the sun, but not in science, scientifically, in terms of God made the heavens and the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, the sun is the bridegroom. Okay, we have this, um, oh, it's in the other room, huh? Okay, it's oh, Psalms 19, Psalms 89, Malachi 4, Jeremiah 24, Exodus 15, 3. God is a warrior, the sun is a sun in righteousness, it's the bridegroom, so it is a communication of the source of righteousness. Okay, so by now you should get to a T why the guy with a 6'5 black brain surgeon father who came here during segregation in the late 60s as a refugee from Nigeria who was very focused. He said, I'm going to emerge, I'm going to emerge, focused moral intensity, big guy, surgeon, surgical strikes, focused moral intensity. Conveys it to a son spanking. You will behave, you will behave. He starts to forge. Everyone else acting like a Mickey Mouse bitch or a criminal or something. He's forging. Boom, boom, boom. He's forging greatness, right? You are from focused moral intensity as the driving force of this pioneer in the civil rights movement in his own right. This black brain surgeon during a time of extreme racism coming to Detroit when people are racist as fuck. Okay? Race riots. I had a penny in his pocket. You are the continuity of that. I am who I am. He who sees the Son sees the Father. He who sees the Spirit that the Son has masterfully extracted from his Father, which is the Spirit of God, the way to God, okay, sees God. To reject this man is to reject God. To say, we don't take you seriously, is like screaming to God that you don't take him seriously and you dare him to snuff you and your people the fuck out with an emphasis on your offspring. That's what it's doing. You're a fucking idiot if you don't see it that way. If you don't have the common sense. Some things are a matter of common sense, right and wrong, and this is one of them. To cheat me out of my rightful place is to cheat God, is to cheat the core and the source of righteousness. It is inhuman, it is evil, it is childish, it is petty, it is immature. So is any female that rejects me. I'm done here.